Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Minnix, videographer with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Today, I'm gonna to grab my camera gear and head out into the woods in search of morel mushrooms. Morels can be found in Missouri, typically in wooded areas, mostly among sycamore, hickory, ash, and elm trees. The great thing about hunting morels is that you don't need a special permit, or any special equipment for that matter. You just need a bag to carry them in and a sturdy pair of shoes, because you will be doing a lot of walking. Now I would recommend using a mesh bag such as this one in order to keep your morels fresh while you're picking them. Also, you might want to consider using a knife or scissors to cut the mushrooms off. Or you can just use your fingers, taking your index finger and your thumb, pinching the mushroom off at the base, leaving the root system intact. Here's a couple safety tips. Use insect repellent to help keep ticks away. Also, morel season typically coincides with Missouri spring turkey hunting season. So if there are hunters in the area, it's best to avoid it until they're gone. Otherwise, at least wear hunter orange to make yourself more visible. Morels can be tricky to find because they blend in so well with the forest floor. So it's best if you find one, just to stop and freeze and look around and you might start seeing them in other places. Morels need warm and moist soils in order to grow. So early in the season, you wanna concentrate your efforts on the southern and western slopes in higher elevations. As the season progresses and temperatures rise, you can move down to the lower elevations on our northern slopes. I didn't do too bad this morning. If you've never been morel mushroom hunting before, I encourage you to give it a try. It's a great way to get outside early in the spring after being cooped up in the house all winter long. Also, they taste phenomenal. Just be sure you know what you're looking for when you go out there. There is an imposter called a false morel that you don't want to eat. Now false morels are usually red in color and have a brain-like lobe instead of the honeycomb lobe like a true morel has. Also, a false morel will be solid on the inside versus hollow like a true morel. If you have any more questions or would like more information, please visit our website at mdc.mo.gov. Happy hunting!